Perhaps I don't know myself as well as I think. Because if the website and the sorting hat think I'm a Gryffindor, I guess I'm a Gryffindor. What do you think I get? I don't know, but I'm excited. You don't seem like a Slytherin to me, but... Really? The moon, huh? Yeah. I'm a Cancer. The moon is my... In which order would you rescue these objects from the Trolls Club, if you could? Nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Select position for the cure. Huh. Wait, what? Wait, a troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's study at Hogwarts. It is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club? Well, what could? are the other objects? That's an important... That's an important... Go back. I feel like it's not loading all of the objects. Unless I'm not supposed to know? How do you correctly... Or You're rescue... To, it's a blind rank. That doesn't make any sense. If it's a blind rank, then everything would be first. Dragon pox? I don't think I would rank first. I don't think I would either, because I don't feel like it's probably that likely. Student records going back a thousand years. Hmm... I feel like there's probably something with better priority. Yeah, you're that. probably right. A mysterious handwritten book of strange runes. What the fuck's a rune? You already ranked them, sir. Reorder. Oh, okay. Why not just put them all out there, you buttholes? There we go. Goodness. Which of the following would you most hate people to call you? Ignorant? Ignorant. Selfish, ordinary, ordinary cowardly. cowardly, ignorant. Right? That's hard, yeah. I mean, there's times when you need to be cowardly. There's times when you need to be ordinary. There's times you need to be selfish. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, that would that is the one that I would select. But it's not my quiz. Which of the following would you most likely to study? Mer people, centaurs, centaurs werewolves. werewolves. Vampires, Vampires, goblins, goblins trolls, ghosts. I'd say ghosts. Hmm. One of your housemates is cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he has come to the top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. Professor Flitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you in to one side after his lesson, asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Tell him the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Also, you are both in the same house. Any points he loses will be regained by you for coming first in his place. Or would you not wait to ask to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth? If you knew that somebody was using a forbidden quote, would you tell the teacher before the exam started? Lie and say you don't know, but you hope that somebody else tells Professor Flitwick Flitwick the truth. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate to resolve and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. Hmm. Let's either this or the first option for me. Yeah, I give my classmate the option of coming forward himself. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with that one. Okay. Once every century, the Flutterby bush produces flowers that adopt their, adapt their scent to attract the unwary. If it lured you, I, it would smell of the sea. Deodorant, no, home, a crackling log fire, or fresh parchment. Home. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Owls, toads, or cats? Barn owl, a tawny owl, snowy owl, screech owl, brown owl. Hmm. I love a screech owl. I just love their... The look of them. Their ears. Their ears. Yeah. Heads or tails? Tails never fails. That's right. Sure doesn't. Sorting it. hat is ready to make a decision. Ravenclaw! 
That that fits better for you, I think, actually. I am a Ravenclaw. Much better than a Slytherin. Yeah. It asked you such different questions than it asked me, based on the fact that you choose chose moon and I chose stars. Who knows? It might be different every time. Could be. All right, what's my Patronus? Well, I don't know. Hopefully it's better than a cat. At least yeah. not a dog. Maybe I, could, I chose Slytherin when I talked to the hat. And I put it on my head. Could be. That's why I went there. You do look good in green, though. What? You do look fine in green, you know? I look better in blue, though. This is true. Discover your Patronus. Relax and just go with your gut. These are completely different options than you got. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. To start over? You have to go with your gut. Proud play. I don't even know what those mean. Preen? What the fuck does preen mean? Like, groom yourself, I think. Do you like gray? I get a stallion. what I told you yet. <laughs> I thought you're... <laughs> That's funny. A deer hound. Honestly, a dog makes very much a lot of sense for you. Looks like Rupert. A, a dog-like creature. It's very fitting for you. Rupert was kind of foxhoundish, though. So you're a, a cat and I'm a dog, Patronus. That's interesting. Dogs don't like cats, though, usually. Maybe they're play, playmates, though. I am average male human height. <laughs> okay. And my eyes are blue or blue gray? They're blue. It's yours, you gotta decide. I like a castle, just like you. <laughs> small spaces. Really? Of all those things you are most afraid of small spaces? Yeah. Oh, I don't mind a small space. No, 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 no. Silver dagger or gold key. I don't know why I was drawn to dusty bottle. That one's the most practical. A laurel wood with a dragon core, 12 and a half inches. Surprising a swishy flexibility. It is said that a laurel wand cannot perform a dishonorable act. Although the quest for glory, a not common goal for those for those best suited to these wands. Oh, a not uncommon goal. I have I have known laurel wands perform powerful and sometimes lethal magic. Laurel wands are sometimes called fickle, but this is unfair. The laurel wand seems unable to tolerate laziness in a professor. Possessor. Possessor, and it is in such conditions that it is most easily and willingly won away. Otherwise, it will cleave happily to its first match forever, and indeed has the unusual and engaging attribute of issuing a spontaneous lightning strike if another witch or wizard attempts to steal it. Hmm. Well, I'm actually a Ravenclaw. At least you were in the right house the whole time. Mm-hmm. Everybody thought you were a Ravenclaw, though. I have personality characteristics that fit. I I thought I was probably Ravenclaw, just based on if I had to if I had to order myself based on the characteristics of Ravenclaws. I think I'm probably a Ravenclaw. All right. Well, that's our real houses, our real wands, and our real Patronuses. Sweet. Yeah. According to the Wizarding world. I mean, you're a cat, Patronus, mine's dog. I mean, it kind of fits too. Like dogs like to chase cats. I'm always She's chasing constantly me. chasing me. There you go. Yeah, I'm constantly just like, get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Knocking drinks off the counter. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh oh, Malfoy's back. Harry's got his wand, though. Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go, kiddo. All right. Good night. Get some rest, okay? I love you. I'll make you cinnamon rolls in the morning. Okay. Maybe he's gone to the room requirement. It doesn't show up on the lab, does it? You said that last year. That's right, I, I did. Ron is all of a sudden remembering everything he ever could ever know. <laughs> She's like, wait, you were listening to yeah, me? Yeah, <laughs> I know. She's so surprised by it. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's full of stuff in it. Can we use that spell here? The find find me the Horcrux spell. That's never worked. He can track it with his mind, though, right? Yeah. Draco's outside the door. He knows how to get in there now, too. Mm-hmm. Uh oh. Must be getting closer. But if we're counting, this would only be the fifth Horcrux, right? Aren't there seven? They get other ones, we just don't know about them. So the cup, the ring, the book, the necklace. The stone. Okay, so the other the three other horcruxes are the Deathly Hollows then. The stick, the stone, and the cloak. Right? You have something of mine. I'd like it back. Mm, you can't have it back. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's my girlfriend. Oh boy. Stop flinging it, Doyle. Jesus. Can we zap ourselves out of this room? <gasps> oh no. Oh. Bye, Doyle. Harry's gonna save them. If we die for them, Harry, I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> nice kick, Ron. He broke the wand, right? So if that's a horcrux, then... Well, it's it's not broken, it's just... My lord. Weakened. Don't talk to him, he's on bad mood right now, you guys. Come, Nagini. I need to keep you safe. Can you run away again? That's kind of his MO, isn't it? It's the snake. She's the last one. It's the last Horcrux. Mm. That's gonna be a tough one. Find out where he is. If we find him, we can find the snake. And we can end this. Where the hell has Hagrid been? We haven't seen him at all this no, morning. I don't think he'd be at Hogwarts right now because it's not safe for him. He helped Harry escape. 
at the beginning of it. Remember when they escaped his house? Go and find Severus. Bring him to me. Snape's got to redeem himself right now. Right? So. He's got to be the one. He's got to be the one that takes care of this. There's no spells to take care of a fucking giant? Like, come on, there's gonna be something. Oh, God. You got the spiders to fight for him, too? So is everybody fucking dead here? Who's that? That was Ron's old girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> bummer. Oh, he's powerful too, huh? But the one. Resist me. There is no one more powerful. It answers to you. Does it? My lord. He's just kissing his ass. The Elder Wand belongs to the wizard who killed its last owner. Snape. Oh. While you live, the Elder Wand cannot truly be mine. Oh, so he's got to kill Snape to use it. You've been a good and faithful servant, Severus. He's not even getting his moment of redemption. My lord. That fucking sucks. Didn't even get his moment of redemption. So, Severus wasn't a good guy. I was just holding out hope for nothing. Damn. Any chance it was a body devil? <laughs> I don't think so. Take them. Take them. Please. Give me something. Quickly, a flask, anything. The tears. You have your mother's eyes. Him and Lily were best friends when they were little. We saw that in that one flashback that Harry saw. Every drop of magical blood spilled is a terrible waste. I therefore command my forces to retreat in their absence. Dispose of your dead with dignity. Join me in the forbidden forest and confront your fate. If you do not do this, I shall kill every last who tries to conceal you from me. Well, you're on your own, buddy. <laughs> At some point it had to come down to this, mano y mano, you know? Yeah. Where is everybody? Disposing of their dead, did you hear him? Was Filch even fighting? Looks like it. He doesn't even know magic. Which one's dead? George? Dang. I don't remember the twins' names. Fred and George, I don't know. Oh. Mm. Oh. Harry's aunt. Mm -hmm. It spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. Hide them all. I beg you. What will you give me in exchange, Severus? Anything. That was a long time ago. It will spread, Albus. How long? Maybe a year. You must be the one to kill me, Severus. He was gonna die anyways from the curse from the ring. The curse we bound. When that happened, a part of Voldemort's soul latched itself onto the only living thing it could find. Harry himself. He's the Horcrux. A part of 
Voldemort lives inside him. Well, duh. Why else would they be connected? The boy must die. Yes. It's a big bummer. <laughs> Lily. After all this time. Always. It's, it's his Patronus. That's his mom, yeah. A Snape sent that for him. Mm. Voldemort himself must do it. That is essential. Hmm. He has to sacrifice himself to Voldemort so that Voldemort dies. Perhaps it won't kill him to just remove Voldemort from him. Right? Yeah. That was be real depressing. Snape always cared for him. Yeah. No. You can't give yourself up to him. There's really no other option here. I'll go with you. Now kill the snake. Dang it. Kill the snake and then it's just him. Is Ron picking this up? So it's just the snake and him left as Horcruxes. Mm. I'm ready to die. It's the Death of the Hollows. Mm hmm. The Resurrection Stone. That's why Dumbledore gave him that, because it was inside of it. So he just needs the wand? All your peeps are there. It's because he has the stone. Yeah, so they're... if he wanted to, he could resurrect. I don't think so. I think they're just there to wait for him to take him home, right? Does it hurt? Dying. It really depends on how you die. <laughs> I never wanted any of you to die for me. And Remus, your son. Others will tell him what his mother and father died for. One day, he'll understand. Oh, breaks my heart. Oh. You'll stay with me. Until the end. And he won't be able to see you. No. Wait, you see. And he doesn't have anybody who loves him to support him. Gonna drop it in the grass. Hope for the best. Hope he can find it later. No sign of him, my lord. Did he pick the wrong part of the forest? It's a pretty big forest. Harry, no! What are you doing here? Quiet. There's Hagrid. Welcome to heaven. He didn't even fight back. No, he did not. Which I think should have been a giveaway for what's his name. Yeah. Right? That should have been like a, oh, why does he not have his weapon drawn? Here he is, Baltimore. Professor, what is that? Something beyond either of our help. What? Something beyond neither of our help. Oh. Where would you say that we are? Well, train station. It looks like Kings Cross Station. <laughs> Heaven's train station. So it's true, then, sir. 
A part of him lives within me, doesn't it? Did. Not anymore. You were the Horcrux he never meant to make, Harry. Mm. I have to go back, haven't I? Oh, that's up to you. I have a choice. Oh, yes. I think if you so desired, you'll be able to board a train. And where would it take me? <laughs> On. Like, to the afterlife? To heaven? Like, back? Or on. Is this all real? Or is it just happening inside my head? Of course it's happening inside your head, Harry. Why to me it's not mean real. That it's not real. <laughs> Professor. I don't need your help. Is he dead? Dead. She lying? Yeah. Oh, I found the sorting hat. The hat's probably pissed. Do you think that they both have the had the dough patronus because they were soulmates? Best friends, soulmates, yeah. Or I'm not sure, maybe Severus. Uh, can you change your Patronus? I don't know. Does Hagrid have Harry? Yeah. Harry Potter is dead. From this day forth, you put your faith in me. Didn't hold up his end of the bargain, huh? Come forward and join us. Or die. Well done, Draco. Well done. Please tell me he's got the snake tooth. The basilisk tooth? Yeah. Why would he have it? I don't think he ever saw it. He left that in the Chamber of Secrets. Well, I must say I'd hoped for better. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, I laugh at the people that are willing to join you. Not well, scream. Neville, a bunch I'm of sure fucking dicks. Find a place for you in our rank. I'd like to say something. Oh, Neville's gonna die, huh? We lost Harry tonight. He's still with us. In here. So no, they're not joining. Just. For all of us. It's still over. Get that fucking snake. Get it, Neville. They're all running because they saw Harry take a, a death curse and live again. Malfoys are running. Yeah, they're like, we're out of here. Oh, Harry's got the basilisk tooth. I don't know if that's Bellatrix's wand. He's like, come on, come on, I'm distracting him. No, oh, he has the basilisk tooth. Ah, shit! Yeah, come on, buddy. We need that sword. Did Neville take a death death curse and block it with the sword? Perhaps. Damn it! Not my daughter, you bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Did 
She doesn't have her normal wand, though. Yes! Go, Mrs. Weasley. She went fucking mama bear on her. She already lost a son today, so. Yeah. It's her only daughter. She's going to lose that. Come on, Tom. Let's finish this the way we started. Kill that fucking snake, you guys. Nailed it. Just him now. Oh. Just wanted him. Creepy. Harry must have hit him with the cremation spell. <laughs> Harry. Did Hagrid know he was alive that whole time? Must have, yeah. I mean, if you're carrying somebody, you know if they're dead or alive, right? It was Draco who disarmed Dumbledore that night in the astronomy tower. From that moment on, mm -hmm. the wand answered him. And Harry had Draco's wand. The other night, when I disarmed Draco at Malfoy Manor. So that means... It is. What should we do with it? We? Just saying, that's the Elder one. Most powerful wand in the world. And now Harry's got all three things in the Deathly Hollows. Well, he left the resurrection stone in the forest, didn't he? Mm-hmm. He's gonna break it? <sighs> Nobody needs to be that powerful, is what he's saying. Nineteen years later, Jiminy. <laughs> Draco's got a kid, too, huh? Here they come. I mean, it's just like small town high school. <laughs> oh, you've seen all, all the people you graduated with and all their kids. Dad, what if I am put in Slytherin? Albus Severus Potter. Hmm. The sorting hat takes your choice into account. Really? Really. Good for him. Mm -hmm. Harry's not Dumbled the new Dumbledore. He doesn't work at Hogwarts. He probably works at the Ministry of Magic. Hmm. He's just a paper pusher at the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> just like a nobody at yeah, the Ministry of Magic. She's an accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Was that Harry's middle child? Wasn't there a yeah. little boy? Uh huh. Yeah. I just ignore that fact, though. Yeah. Like, oh, he's the oldest. It's fine. Looks like he's been there for a couple years. Yeah. But Al Albus Severus. Wonder he probably named his oldest. I've missed the initials. I wonder if it was named after Sirius. Maybe. Can't remember the initials on the the bo the box. It was something P. Probably like um. Sirius James Black e or Sirius James Potter. Yeah, something like that. Probably. I'm not gonna lie, I would like like the in-between years, like 
what happened in between the those 19, 19 years. years. Yeah. Well, I had a bunch of kids. I know, but like, I don't know. What the hell are they doing with their lives now? Like, that'd be so nice. They to probably know. have a 12 year old and a 10 year old. So, well, that's not helpful. Probably helped rebuild Hogwarts and got real world jobs. Mm hmm. Magic world jobs. Just, you know, an accountant. I think there is another, magic. like, book. I think it's called Harry Potter and the Cursed Child or something like that. I think it's about the child that he talks to there. It's cursed? I don't, yeah. I don't know. Spoilers. I mean, it's the title of the book. I don't know. So I'm not sure what that's about. And they've obviously never made it into a movie. I think they turned it into a play. Hmm. But, yeah. All right. Well, that concludes our Harry Potter journey. I guess it does. Now, there are prequel movies. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Oh, yeah. You were saying that last time. Those are all about Dumbledore. Yeah. Honestly, less interested in that than I am in, like, the 19 years. Those are period pieces, though. So you can go back 60 years. Period piece in the, like, the, the wizarding like world, though, yeah. it's not like doesn't hold a lot of nostalgia <laughs> for me, yeah. you know? Yeah. I've never actually watched those, so it'll be first time watch for both of us. Hmm. Well, let us know if you think we should watch Fantastic Beasts. Yeah. So what do you think? That's good. That you've gone through the whole journey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I guess Draco did get his redemption in a way. Kind of. He had a chance to rat out Harry. They captured him. He didn't. Mm hmm. Yeah, he never really went after Harry after all that stuff. Yeah, so. he was just like, well, it saved my life, so I'm just done. <laughs> done trying. Like the Malfoys were just like, I just want to get yeah. out of this. How do we? How do we? This like, was a bad alliance. Remove our our sign in. So, Ginny and him, Ron and Hermione. Hermione. I wish Harry and Ginny could have had a little bit more of a moment. Yeah, they didn't really have a moment at there the end. The battle. Yeah, right? they just kind of looked at each other. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I guess they had their moment just before the battle. I know, but. God, Any, what a freaking, what a freaking Star Wars thing to do! I know. <laughs> we saw Neville and Luna sitting together. Yeah, I if, just a hint. Did of, they end up together? I imagine they seemed like a good couple. They did. Neville is actually the chosen one for of the Gryffindor sword. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's the one that killed the fi final uh, Horcrux. Well, the chosen one is. I mean, the sword shows up for whoever is in need, right? Yeah. So. It knew that he was going to be... He came through. Mm -hmm. There's always the debate, because him and Harry were both born a couple days apart. Whether if, he was actually... If he was the child born at the end of July, mm. they could stop Voldemort. And together they did. Yeah. So it could be either one of them. Uh, it could be. Well, who was your favorite character, after it's all said and done? Favorite student? Oh, I think it's got to be Hermione. Yeah. yeah. Okay. She was loyal and smart and loyal more than anything right i mean just think she just becomes friends with harry back in the day mm -hmm. and goes on this whole adventurous stands life with her stands by him yeah. through this weird running away from Voldemort situation do you, think, do you think she goes back to her parents and unobliviates i don't know is that possible I don't know if it's possible to own a blue. Is that permanent? I don't know if it is permanent. That's very sad for her. Yeah. But she did she, it she, again. For Harry. In loyalty of Harry. Yeah. My favorite's Neville. He's awesome too. Yeah. yeah. He's always kind of like the geek kid. Mm hmm. But he always. Unassuming. You know, and he always. But he always again, hard. a loyal. Yeah. Loyal friend. Yep. Steps up when it's really needed. And Luna, of course. Luna's always awesome. She was a great late addition halfway through the mm -hmm. the franchise. I'm not sure if she's in the earlier books. She shows up there. What was that? What was it? Goblet of Fire that she showed up? Yeah. Something like that. Well, cool. No, it was after the Goblet of Fire. It was the one with the ball. Yeah. Or the Sorcerer's. It was after, it was after Cedric died. Yeah. Who was your favorite professor? 
Oh, McGonagall. McGonagall. Hands down. Yeah. Severus was great. Yeah. But his whole per- point was to make you hate him for a good until portion the of... Until you see yeah. the truth. Yeah. I knew it was a long con. I just couldn't... I just feel like he missed his opportunity to really... To really, re- like, tell Harry how he felt? Yeah. Well... He knew he couldn't while he was alive. Yeah, he did kinda. with his tears, I guess, his memories, right? Yeah, so he gave it That was him. nice of him. Yeah. Severus was my favorite because of how complex of a character. And Alan Rickman, R.I.P. Yeah. Killed it in Severus. Mm-hmm. Start to finish. And Hagrid, of course. Oh, yeah, you gotta love Hagrid. Yeah. All of them. Just All the characters. Teddy Bear. Just want a big hug from Hagrid. Mm-hmm. All right. Who was the worst villain? Bellatrix. Bellatrix? I mean, Voldemort, obviously, but... Not Umbridge? Oh, God, I forgot about her. She never showed up at the final battle. She, uh, she might be... I mean, Bellatrix was crazy scary, but Bell, but um, Umbridge was just... Yeah, maniacal. Really horrible scare. Like, yeah. Yeah. The, the C word. <laughs> Can't say it, because we'll get... Age restricted. Yeah, for using proper English. She was the C word. <laughs> evil. <laughs> oh, there you go. All right. Well, any other thoughts on our Harry Potter journey? Nope. Glad we got to take, you... take the trip together. I yeah, wish you could go to Hogwarts yourself. It would be cool. I guess we can if we go to Universal. There you go. Put it on the list. World, Universal. Not a fan of butterbeer. I think it's better at the actual... Oh, I'm sure it's better than the bottle that we had last week. And we just bought our oldest daughter... The Harry Potter books. The first book. Mm -hmm. Well, we gave her... The the, illustrated editions. Yeah. Yeah, they're very cool. So I bet she's going to start reading that. She's been putting together Harry Potter's Lego set she got for Christmas, too. Yeah, she's really into the Hogwarts Lego set. Which was actually from this movie. It was the Battle of the Hogwarts set. Oh. So... There we Spoilers go. for her, but I don't think she. She probably won't watch this. Yeah, not until the end. <laughs> not until she gets older. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. well, what should people comment on? And it's all said and done. Tell us your favorite character. Yeah, favorite student, favorite professor, and favorite villain or favorite villain. scariest villain, non Voldemort related. Yeah. Which villain do you like mm-hmm. or hate so much you like them? Would love to hate. Yeah, there you go. All right. Anything else? Thank you guys so much for joining us on the Harry Potter Thrill Ride. Yeah. I don't know what we're watching next week, but come back and join us for it. Yeah, you never know what might happen. Mm-hmm. And check out our Patreon link down below for more early access to our videos, fun commentary, access to polls, help us people watch next. Links down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.